Hi guys, today it's just going to be a quick video on how to use the Rhino make 2D command. Let's have a look. Okay, so once you've opened up Rhino and you've got the model that you would like to be working on, the first thing that you're going to need to do is you just want to simply select all of the objects that you wish the make 2D to be applied to, type in the command make 2D, hit enter, you get the 2D drawings options box. Make sure projection is set to view. That means that the make 2D will be generated from the view the object is currently in. Simply hit OK and your make 2D will be completed. Now the make 2D line work typically goes into the top view orientation. So simply double click out of the isometric view and go into top view and you can see we have our make 2D line work. Now I'd recommend quickly selecting all of that and just hitting group command so that you don't lose any tiny little lines that might be hiding in there. Now that we've successfully done the make 2D command and we've got our line work here in the Rhino workspace, you might like to export that. It's really easy, just select all of the line work, go to file, export selected, go to the file location you'd like to have that put into, change the file type, now the two file types I would work with personally are either going to be the AutoCAD DWG drawing if you're going to take it into AutoCAD and clean up some of those lines or you can go straight into Illustrator or PDF if you'd like to edit these lines in a vector program. So just give the file a name and save it out. Now you'll get this export PDF dialog box come up. Don't worry too much about this. I would just generally set it to an A4. Set the resolution to around 300 dots an inch. That's quite high. Make sure it's on a vector output. Leave all the rest of these settings and just click OK. So in this part, we're just going to be going through the couple different options that there are for the line types that you can include when you do a make 2D command. Now, as you can see, this make 2D has essentially given us the lines that are shown on screen here. So you can't see behind anything. So if there's an object behind another object, you won't see the lines that are covered by the object in front. Now, if you would like to have those lines, so the full hidden kind of dotted lines that might be there in a drawing, simply select all of those objects again, hit the make 2D, hit enter, and select the hidden lines option in the dialog box. Hit OK, you'll get another set of line work. Now, if we drag that over to compare, there's a whole lot more lines here that were hidden in the original Make 2D. Now these are all objects that are inside other objects or behind objects, generally hidden from view as the name would suggest. This little window up here previews the types of lines that will be shown in the Make 2D dialog. So when you're selecting the options, you can see what that means. The first thing that you're going to need to do is set the view that you would like the Make 2D to be taken from. So whether that's a top-down view or a side view or a plan view or a perspective or an isometric, if you'd like it to be one of the standard elevation or plan views, you can simply go to the view tab, right click, go to set view and select one of the presets and that will snap automatically to that view. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be doing an isometric. So you want to go set view isometric and select one of the cardinal directions. You can then zoom out. Make sure you don't orbit around the model, otherwise it will no longer be a proper isometric. Make sure you only pan. You can pan by holding down shift and right click. That will give you the little hand icon and you can pan that image around in your view. Now, if you'd like to save this view in case you accidentally change it or bump your mouse or something like that, go to this sidebar here that has all our layers and various other tabs in it go to the Named View tab. If that Named View tab isn't showing in yours, go to the little cog icon, turn the Named View setting on with a little tick box. Click the Save As icon to save this view, give it a name, and you're good to go. For everyone who's made it this far, a big thank you for watching the video. Hope you liked it. Any comments or questions, just hit me in the comments below. Cheers and see you in the next one.